Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a new episode of The X Button Reacts. I'm here with my buddy Paul, and this is Alejandro, the X Button Podcast host. And we are literally a minute and two seconds away from op Gamescom opening night live happening. So, Paul, so we have 55 seconds to go for this thing. Um, what are you expecting? He has pretty was, much revealed a lot of what he's showing. Yeah, so I was not... going to say he's talked about a lot of it. I mean, it's literally in the description where it says Sonic Frontiers, Hogwarts Legacy, Outlast Trials, Borderlands, and more. And more so yeah. It's like, I don't know really what else beyond that. Um, I'm sure he's going to have a couple of surprises, but uh, we've also heard leaks all over the place. Um, although I've mostly forgotten most of it, so yeah. uh, <laughs> it'll be a surprise to me. Oh, uh, yes. What about you? What are you thinking? Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, a lot of games that are repeat showings for most of his most of his shows get release dates at least, or at least release windows, and that he heard the criticism from 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 a uh, summer game fest of like you only showed two games with game plan. We already knew about those, so if you're gonna show something, at least give us three to five minutes of showing us more instead of just a quick trailer. So we're beginning in three, two, one. It begins. Yep, ah, gotta get comfy now. Oh, we're yes. in this for a while. Yes, we're here for the next two hours. The good thing is that I have Destiny in the background there, just in case things get weird. <laughs> so. Yeah. Eighteen plus disclaimer. Yeah, always. There you go. Open that alive. Please welcome to the stage the creator of the Oh yeah, this is now an in-person event Jeff again. It's, uh... I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see what we got. Are we going to have some cringy music numbers? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, it's been 3 everybody. years since his last in-person event. How you doing? I can't lie, that's a cool stage. It is so mm -hmm. great to have a live crowd with us here in Cologne, Germany for Gamescom 2022. I forget I'm Jeff this Healy, and I gotta say, yeah. I am so excited to be here with you. We did this in 2019, live in person in Germany, and then the past two years we had to do it virtually mm -hmm. from Los Angeles. And in 2020, the first show that my team did together live was that August, Gamescom, and we connected with all of you virtually. Yeah. And the that 2020 that opening night live wasn't good. <laughs> the 2021 one was. So, uh, so. guys, were you ready the for one a fun that show? popped off for us. That was 2021, wasn't it? Yeah, 2021 was when you uh, were gardening. But we did we talk have, about it. And yeah, we, we, one yeah. That got the really good. Exactly. To showcase so. the future for you, I we've got games like Sonic was, Frontiers, uh, the Callisto oh Protocol, God. Death Stranding, Outlast mm -hmm. Trials, Hogwarts Legacy, Gotham Knights, and a lot of surprises yes, of things Gotham that we Knights. didn't talk about in advance. So we've got some good stuff. That's for good. Tonight. That he it, like he said the expectations was going to be there and then a few surprises. I can't wait to get started. We've got two hours That's of stuff. That's always what I so like. We just yeah, to yeah. just move. <laughs> just yeah. just right. tell me a couple of things. I love the roar of a live crowd. And because we got uh -huh. a live crowd, we got to surprise you with some stuff tonight, too. So let's start things off with our first world oh. premiere. It's a new world from a brand okay. new team that has a bold vision. There you go. Check this out. I was worried they were going to say literally new world, the game. And I was like, no, please don't. <laughs> Remember <laughs> that? <laughs> yep. And people were like, oh, it's going to really kick off, guys. Okay. Greek-ish. We want the community to build... That's the guy from Rockstar. Their world. We want them to tell... Leslie Benzies, him and the Hauser brothers. ...nature to navigate uncharted territory. To find a place... We're free to explore. Looks like a Destiny creative, expansion. <laughs> All right. Amazing experiences. The goals are to make an experience that's unlike any other, which is such an exciting thing to be part of. I think ultimately, like that's kind of been the big ambition is to create this kind of like open world that can be built out in every direction. I think it's every day is a new discovery and it's constantly growing. We've put a lot of focus, I think, on the current type guys and what it Dude, means. Dude, Leslie Benzies was created with the houses created the open world genre. Of love and, to live with passion. and then he worked at Rockstar for a while before he just left world, after GTA five. So and I think that we've we've kind of captured that. Players will God. play a massive part in this. It's not gonna be just our game. It's not gonna be just what we decide to do with it. There's something in it that will definitely appeal to you, no matter what it is that you love to do. The really thrilling aspect of all this is that people are going to get to see what we're doing for the first time. I'm just so excited for people to see what we've been spending the last five years. I'm worried that they're going to stop here. I need to see. Yeah, yeah. Excited to we, see. Need, we need some. I don't understand what, what this is. is. Yeah, <laughs> I get you. <laughs> Everywhere has become more than just a video game for us, and today we're delighted to give you a peek there you behind go. the curtain okay, good. of what we've been working on. Okay, 
Let's get a peek. What do we got? Okay, look at that art style. Alright. Good direction. Huh. The new Jack. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Person shooter? There's gotta be. There was like a little piece of gameplay. Uh -huh. there, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Oh, what does it remind me of? Um, not Shadowrun. What the frick? Uh, crackdown. Yeah. Everywhere. Oh, shoot. When you realize the word everywhere, it's not uh, trademarked. <laughs> I know. That's, that's gonna be tricky for them. Uh huh. Okay. I mean, they sh what they did show looked cool. Mm -hmm. Some solid go, shooting, solid driving. Sure I love me some driving. Questions. And joining me now from Build a Rocket Boy is Adam Whiting to hopefully answer some of those because uh, we're a little confused, but we want to know a lot about this. So tell us uh, everywhere that background what is kind so of game is. Right? Right? <laughs> well, firstly, can I just say it's really exciting to just be here. And we've been looking forward to coming out of stealth mode and really delighted to start the conversation today here at Gamescom. Now, I won't be able to reveal everything, but what I can say is that really we're not trying to make a normal game. I think the scope and ambition of this project are quite unlike anything else. We want to build a whole new world for gamers, and not just a place to play, but watch, share, create, hang out with your friends, and so much more. Well, I got to say, uh, the end of the trailer, I think we so all... So, a co-op multiplayer that, uh, seems uh, open world game? Like is that service. part of everywhere? Mm -hmm. What can you tell us? Well, Jeff, that's one of the many surprises we've got in store for players. I mean, we are passionate about making games and telling stories, but ultimately we made everywhere to be a place I'm where just thinking, players like, can make their imagine own Imagine GTA, but be not held they want down to be by and reality. Tell their own stories. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that's like, I just got a glimpse of that, and I was like, that, that would actually be really cool, like a fantasy enjoy. GTA. I guess you could say we want to have fantasy their cake and eat it, and everywhere is a place that can happen. All right, well, definitely a bold uh, vision for what you're doing here. Uh, the other question I'm sure we're all wondering is, we didn't see any date on the trailer, any sense of when we're going to get to play this thing? Where are you at in development? Well, I'm delighted to say that we aim to have everywhere in the hands of players in 2023, but we've got many more things to show and tell. Another 2023 game. We're really excited <laughs> for you to sign up on our website, everywhere. I was thinking a couple of years from was now. Just a sneak they, they've been working on this for a while, so that makes sense. So work on, and we're really excited to get this in the hands of players as soon as possible. Amazing. Well, Adam, thank you yeah. for sharing the reveal here. Gosh, at it's like that awesome first instinct was studios on stage. And tonight, all the keywords they were using were like trigger phrases. I was like, ooh, that sounds uh, rough. Uh -huh. right now, <laughs> now I'm like, another it sounds a lot more competent than mm -hmm. a lot of the people that use those words. So that that caught my eye. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Yeah. Oh, uh, there we go. Level Infinite, Level Infinite is the... Uh, it's basically Tencent's uh, publishing arms. To sh uh, so that it, so that they're publishing games, but uh, not under the Tencent name. So, legendary. Oh, it's Dune. Fear is the, the spice Dune game. Movie. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. God, is it level infinite, man? anything I've learned about Dune after the movie came out is that the books get so weird. Yeah, like uh, Paul becomes like this blob at the end, right? There's there's a lot of weird stuff that goes down on it, and I'm not so sure if that's going to translate well to a movie, but at least that first <laughs> one was really cool. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over and through me. I gotta say, it looks And great. when it has gone mm. past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. When the fear is gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. Dune Awakening. That was teased by the snitch. 
the famous snitch came back to say. Is this that? It was like a management game, was it? No. Uh, what am I thinking of? Um, because you said a, it was like oh, open world. An open survival. world survival MMO for PS5 and Series X, and PC. All right. I'll be curious. That's for sure. Trust that's two me, new the games. The fun is so. just beginning tonight. All right. How many of you out there are fans of PlayStation? Well, we've got a fun surprise for you. I said, PlayStation, what can we do for all the fans coming together here at Gamescom? And right now, I'm honored to share this global PlayStation announcement with you right here at Gamescom. Okay. They said they were not going to be here. That's what's funny. VR. Oh, yeah. VR too. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. No, that's Elite it's Controller. The, the controller. <laughs> oh, shoot. He's got yeah. the paddles. All right, what do we got? Huh? Give me that tech work. Okay, it's got switches. Yeah. Oh. Dual Sense Edge. <laughs> what? <laughs> edge, Paul. <laughs> There you go. Want to be edgy? The DualSense <laughs> Edge. It's a high-performance, ultra-customizable wireless PlayStation 5 controller designed by PlayStation. And you see there, you can have your own uh, custom control profiles uh, customized to your play style. And if you guys want to learn more about the brand new controller, you can head to PlayStation Blog. And thanks to PlayStation for sharing that announcement with us here at Gamescom. All right, next. This up, is already a uh, stronger Protocol. show than <laughs> than. Reconfirming the date, reconfirming the date. There you go. Schofield from Striking Still this Distance. Uh, Just Glenn, right out so the front, like, don't worry, guys. Yes. <laughs> you came all the way over in the middle of development to Gamescom. Nobody we really panicked. appreciate it. Uh, how has the response been to Callisto so far? Man, Jeff, the uh, response has been fantastic uh, for a new IP. I couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, so I want to thank the fans, and uh, I, I want to thank my team for uh, just really killing it. And it's great to be back at Gamescom, man, you know. Well, you got some good stuff for the fans, and we're going to get to There's just something second. about, like, a live event. You brought some gameplay. I think there's, like, energy. You can at least... You brought more now. What are we going to see today? Yeah, you got uh, yeah. some uh, live gameplay. Uh, we've got two sections. The first one is going to show some uh, some crazy combat. But and, uh, what do you want? The second one is uh, gameplay. something new uh, from the game. A little That's different what than what we've shown mm -hmm. with a... Uh, I'm already kind of satisfied with the gameplay I got from the last time they showed it. One thing I want to ask you about was your no and certainly the team for work on Dead Space. Yeah, I feel like uh, if you're releasing this year, you need to. Kind of this is the um, kind of amount of stuff that you have uh, to like show up. So. And we've shown the gore system, um, and today we're yeah, going to show did. a couple <laughs> new things, uh, including one that we're showcasing called mutations. So uh, the enemies may sometimes have these tentacles that come out, and if you don't shoot them, take them out on time. Uh, this like guy Resident in real time 4. is going to yeah. mutate in front of you into something bigger, better, faster, meaner. And he's going to be taking you out. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Well, this is one of my most anticipated games. It's coming out this December. Glenn, thanks to you and the team for putting this together. Let's take a look at brand new gameplay from the Callisto Protocol. Thank you. So he's gone through the checklist of what the people want. Yeah. Same. When I tell you like the criticism was tough, it was tough. Uh, yes. Summer Game Fest. Oh, you mean? Okay, yeah. yeah. I thought you meant for Callisto Protocol. No, no, no. So there better be like other gameplay stuff other than just this game. Just for, for him to be like, oh yeah, you're show it again, but this game looks so good. Ah, oh, yes. Jeez. That place is not OSHA compliant. Huh? <laughs> that is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Yes. <laughs> All those spinning blades. So now we're at. So he's adding uh, stealth. There wasn't stealth in Dead Space. Yeah, no, there was not. Um, it's, it's giving me Evil Within vibes right now. Yeah, it had the same oh, button nice. for the stabbing in the back. Ah, the Last of Us dodge. Right through that. <laughs> Yes. You get dangerously close. 
So it's like Evil Within, Dead Space, Last of Us. Yeah. Yeah, this is a lot of each of those. So that's what mutations are. You see that? He keeps like... Oh, yeah. He's getting bulky. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Whoa. So he like fully transformed. Uh -huh. Well. <laughs> oh, that, that's <laughs> like that. is nuts. Oh, <laughs> uh, the telekinesis, right? We get the Tomb Raider. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the the hallway slide. Oh. I imagine if they ever remade Empire Strikes Back, this is how it would yeah. Be falls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a Disney ride. The death would have to be gruesome like... if you screwed this part up. I know, it's... Oh lord, there we go. Yeah. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! Yeah. Needed to happen. It absolutely yep. needed to happen like that. <laughs> Okay. One of the few things coming out this year uh, that I'm good, right? still so very excited for. We got lots more coming for you, but right now I want to introduce you. I think there's a good few ONL. things coming Melly, out in 2022 Melly, that I'll save this Thanks, year. Jeff. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to be here at Gamescom. Hello, everybody. I'm your guide for tonight for all the happenings around Gamescom, and I'm really, really excited to be here because Melik the heart of gaming is beating once again, oh. and game devs and publishers <clears throat> from all around the world are making their way to Cologne to show you hundreds of new games. So if, you, if you're not here yet mm. and still can come by, make sure to drop by, and if you can't, make sure to, ma uh, to drop by next year because it is definitely worth a visit. And one of the highlights we have this year is we actually have the largest in the area ever bringing visitors and devs closer together than everywhere anywhere else in the world and uh, you can meet the makers of the most original that's the stuff that was really getting lost creative games mm -hmm. here and if you're not here and if you can't make it here do not worry that's always the danger about like the farther we go into a generation with online at gamescom.global jeff it's back to you Thank you, Mally, and you'll be with us all night. We've got Gamescom Awards That's good. to come if and nothing other things, else for too. Proof but that let's get right back to the at least premieres. in a couple of years, we'll have more indies coming out. Yeah. For, for a long time <laughs> to see. Let's take a look at this brand new world premiere. All right. Oh, is um, Avowed? Is that what they called it? Oh, shoot. Yeah, they haven't shown that in like two years. So. This is like what we. Okay, were it's a different thing. So. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. Hexworks. Do right now that I watched House of the Dragons and went back to Oblivion, I am so in the fantasy mood. Fantasy. It's also giving me Dark Souls vibes right now. Yeah, and this is like how we were reacting for Elden Ring. Uh. We were like, what does all this mean? Uh. This is like a Diablo cinematic. Mm -hmm. Ooh. There's giants that look like Elden Ring giants. <laughs> I like the aesthetic. I'm liking the soundtrack right now. It does look like Oblivion uh, gates. Kinda almost like Mortal Shell back when that was coming out. Hmm. Ooh. 
they still have that on PS Plus and the Enhanced Edition. I think it's an extra. Yeah, so. it's. Uh, it came out one month for free even before extra came out. I just. Mm -hmm. I but the thing really... is, if you got it, if you got it in normal, it was just a PS4 version, uh, not the PS5 Enhanced. Okay. Like like Greedfall. Greedfall was like on normal PS That's Plus, right, yeah. but uh, PS5 version is now an extra. Jeez. That is a visual. Yeah. <laughs> Lords of the Fallen, okay. Remember Lords of the Fallen? I do, yeah. but uh now this is Not the Lords well. of the Fallen. Yeah. It's basically Dark Souls. That's right. so. They dropped the two. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the the Lords was... of the Fallen. Out for... right, now it's time for yeah. another <laughs> Lords of the Fallen. It just became the Lords of the Fallen. A game that redefined the term couch co-op. Check this out. Yeah. Okay. He ain't letting me play. I tell you. <laughs> uh, no. He's, he's your regular <laughs> Hey, teams. moving out. Have you tried going online? This is a really cute game. Mm. This is an exotic destination. Become a fart. <laughs> Move your dreams, whoever you are. Apply today. No skills? No worries. Everybody's welcome. You're hired. Open a door of new opportunities. Work alone or with a friend. Or two... Or more. You can do it. Move locally or connect together online. Yeah. Nice one. Coming 2023. Yeah, I played this briefly with uh, mm -hmm. Elizabeth. It got really technical very fast, <laughs> though. <laughs> it's like uh, uh, Overcooked. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, we're moving out. I, yeah. um, <clears throat> I think I like the mechanics for this more because of the ragdoll physics, but mm -hmm. uh, she enjoyed Overcooked a little more because it was more. Yes, there you go. Nice. Hey. We haven't seen it. You guys excited for Hogwarts Legacy? So they better show us some. Well, they've already shown a lot of gameplay. I hope it shows even more. Tonight at Gamescom, That's what I'm thinking. The brand new trailer for you to take a look at. I don't want to say much and spoil much. This is an incredible trailer. I hope you enjoy it. Let's see. This game's gonna sell a lot, I tell you. The oh, more absolutely. you know about Salazar Slytherin oh and the Dark Arts, the best. He just looks so be. damn good. If either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. None of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. I'm gonna focus on what the other side of the mm -hmm. magic. It's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. I'm, I'm ready. ready. Crucio! You've made your choice. And all of this is in-game, based on the uh, state of play. It looks really fun. Oh. What have the two of you done? February 10th, 2023. So two weeks after uh, Forspoken and uh, Dead Space. At least it's not immediately. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and of course there's a del digital deluxe edition. That has 72 hours early access. Sheesh. At 8 a.m. Pacific time, the pre-orders go live. 
Nintendo Switch launch date will be. That's a later right. It's day. time to step in the world of Borderlands <laughs> oh, now. Support. Joining me is go. the founder of Gearbox Entertainment Company, Randy Pitchford. Randy, great to see you here. Thanks for the intro, uh, Jeff. So it's funny that they're doing like a sequel for this, but without Telltale. Any Borderlands fans yeah. in the house? Well, I got good news. I know uh, some of you hardcore folks saw the leak, uh, but I'm here to officially announce <laughs> new tales from the Borderlands. So, tell us about this. We remember tales <laughs> this from leaked the Borderlands. by Amazon. This new tales from Borderlands. This is new that is a crazy new story. Sure. It is. You know, mm -hmm. I loved the original game, and so that's why we got some of the original storytellers and writers that were back in the day at Telltale. That's cool. And developed an all new storyline with all new characters, right. uh, created uh, uh, with a production from Gearbox Studio Quebec. Uh, it's an all-new experience, and uh, we're here to show it for the first time today. You guys want to check it out? Let's do it. It's coming soon, too, right? This, That's right. Uh, I wanted to play it because I year. hear how good October it was. This year, all mm -hmm. platforms. Awesome. Well, let's take a look, Randy. This is exciting. New Tales from the <laughs> Borderlands, first at Gamescom. Most stories in the Borderlands start bloody. They end bloody, too. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. And it looks so much better. It, it, it's not done on the Telltale engine, that's complete garbage. They think there was a vault key being kept on the station. If we can find whatever's in that vault before Tidior does, we can change our lives. Like, really bad. Tidio has many guns. Talking guns. Guns with legs. I'm gonna blast you so freaking fast. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> the way you will about Borderlands, they did a great job world building mm -hmm. to the point that you can kind of just create whatever. Oh, yes. <laughs> And when Borderlands is like well written, it's funny. Yes. When it's badly written, you get Borderlands 3. Why are you people like this? <laughs> if you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just uh Just having the great Telltale writers being working on like competent engine. Yep. Oh, this year. Okay. Come back to the city. I'm the same week of the early access for Call of Duty. Oh. Ah, oh, the, the the Dying Light 2 I'm DLC. Tell you a story ah, about a species that survived millennia. Homo neanderthalensis, Homo rhodesiensis, Homo erectus. All of them wiped Homo erectus. out by the deadliest species <laughs> of all. Us. This is the new arena, and my advice for you, stay alive. Honestly, this also feels like Borderlands. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, uh, you had like a, a shooting weapon. <laughs> Oh, well, that was the crossbow. Yeah. I almost but don't even today, count that. You fight for glory. Because that's locked behind the can be one of the factions. What makes mm. you different is the spirit of a champion. Let out the peace. Let out the peace. Let out Bloody the peace. ties. Let out okay, the they're filling up October with things. So. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. Wing. Wing, wing, wing. So you want to join me? Two tapes? Or, uh. This is. No, no, the, uh, the Skull and Bones? No. This looks way too rough. No. This oh, is yeah. like a mobile game. Or a PC strategy yeah. game. Yep. Sign up. And be a part of. If it's not Port Royal, it's one of its competitors. Yeah. Uh, Product not yet new game. Yep, 
This is the Warhammer game, I think. Yeah, this is something else. Ray? Loot? Escape? Oh, no, no, this is that other game that we saw. Um, Marauders. Yeah, that's what it was. Early Access October. Mm. It's such a cool concept, for sure. Um, a looter? <laughs> I mean, the it's basically... Uh, okay, that's funny. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, it was basically like sci-fi escape from Tarkov, mm -hmm. so you can kind of do some stuff that isn't reality-based. Mm -hmm. And speaking of not reality-based... Yeah. Uh, so anybody watching this for the first time, go check out our Destiny, Destiny uh, reactions. Lightfall <laughs> reaction, and you'll hear us seeing this live. And I tell you, I had some screaming. Yeah. And you'll see why. Yeah. Because, shoot. That's what I was actually telling you. I didn't respond to it on the messenger thing. Uh -huh. I'd said it on the live thing after it finished with this. It showed pre-order today and get the exotic. Uh -huh. Um, so that's why I mentioned it, but there was so much going on. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't even continue to talk about it uh. afterward. So that's why I'm like, oh, shoot, do I want to do that now to get access to that gun? Or. Those bastards are getting me. <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah. they do. Because um, yeah. they're like, hey, here's a little piece of what you could have. Mm -hmm. Just pay us now instead of in a year. And the thing is that it's been confirmed to me that uh, getting the deluxe edition is the way to go. Like if you Hello if you play again. Destiny, so this Saturday the Gamescom Awards will be handed out to the winners of the best games on the show floor. Only submitted games showing at Gamescom will be eligible to be nominated, and the awards will be streamed on all Gamescom channels. So make I sure just love that anything that, that Jeff Keighley does I'm always needs to have an award thing. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny, but I mean it, it works. And I would say huh? let's people jump love straight into awards. It, starting with the yeah. most wanted PC game. Here are your nominees. Metal Hellsinger. Oh, that's yeah, that's coming out soon. Yeah. I never played the demo. Me neither. I forgot that was. Warhammer 40, Are those all this year? Yeah. Well, that Warhammer and game I think got delayed recently, is... but. Metal Hellsinger! And here I don't to know, accept the award Andrew, is Sheila I think Vixen, there's a good amount of the uh, games coming out this yours. year. Just stuff that we Thank haven't been so as interested much. in. Mm -hmm. well, this is a lot of people. And a bunch of indie uh, stuff I also. I my speech yeah. a lot, but of course, you know, when it's um, as much people as there is right now, you'll blank. Um, but I want to say that I am honored to receive this award on behalf of my team. The team behind Metal is an am amazing bunch of people that I'm so lucky to be working with every day. And the truth is, making games is super hard. When I started out, I don't think I really realized how hard. And Red what ball. I <laughs> learned is that focusing on <laughs> compassion, kindness, and empathy just as much as any other yeah. craft in games would be the key to successful game development. And it's precisely those qualities that my team possess and why I'm so privileged to be working with them every day. I love you guys at home. I miss you so much. So what I want to say to you, my industry friends and colleagues, is treat each other with heart, kindness, and respect every day. Make games with humanity. Thank you so much. Make games with humanity. <laughs> once again. <laughs> and Jeff, back to you. Thank you, Melly. Well, the world Works. premiere train keeps going. It's time to move to the world of Sonic. Any Sonic Hedgehog fans out there? Okay, let's see how good or Sonic bad this one looks because it's, it's been in the yeah, let's Sonic take a 2 look. movie, which was a ton of fun earlier this year. Well, Sonic Frontiers is in development, and we've got a brand new trailer for you <laughs> and confirmation of the release date, too. Check this there out. There we go. They swore up and down that that, game's not coming, that game was coming out this year, so let's see. It's definitely looking better. <laughs> A mysterious stranger. The new chows. <laughs> now remember, chaos. 
<laughs> he looks so much better. There it is. Yeah. That's looking much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 2D segments. texture on its gloves mm -hmm. I tell you they did themselves I massive the service with the footage they gave to IGN absolutely they weren't ready to show it at all you cannot run forever leave immediately that's very uh, near automata <laughs> right Colossus. Yeah. Okay, Juan, Juan, Juan. Nothing. Are you kidding me? You idiots! Nuts. <laughs> there you go, it is coming oh this year, Sonic gosh. Frontiers. All right, well now. All right, peace, Sonic. <laughs> That's my uh, anniversary, too. As a platform yeah. to announce another narrative experience. This comes from a French studio. Check this out. Hey, Sonic can take on Kratos, Paul. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's well, be a thing. look, Xbox people have nothing, so they will be, have to play Sonic. <laughs> we leave so many so things behind us. Hmm. Objects. Yeah, it's a narrative game. So. Yeah, so it's not going to be... It looks cool. It's cool. It's gonna be terrifying. Yeah, uh, for time. me, absolutely. But <laughs> it's a cool aesthetic. Yeah, and it, that that scary, makes it like style and realism. Yeah, oh, this is what I love. Look at that. Gosh, that's artistic. And here, voices can only come from the deep, deep under the waves. There's. Under so the waves, like 2023. He was walking on a highway that was underwater. Mm -hmm. was, that was really cool. Okay. All right. I have my curiosity Guys, with that one. It's time for the goats. Ready for some goats? <laughs> no <laughs> live goats today. <laughs> but we are here to talk about Goats Simulator remember, 3. We goat got simulator. to announce this back at Summer yep. Game Fest. <laughs> yeah, remember now, when... We see the gameplay of Goat Simulator 3 for the first time. I bet it's going to be that island too, out. especially with the leak. I guess eventually it's going to have to come. Yeah. <laughs> I freaking love Goat Simulator. I still can't believe this is like how popular this became almost on accident. Is this streaming era? <laughs> streaming era is like what makes these games popular. Oh my gosh. I imagine this is what people thought when they were looking at Saints Row 3 gameplay when that first got revealed. Yeah. You're like, the what the crap? <laughs> <laughs> the thing was hilarious that there was never a Go Simulator 2. They just jumped straight to 3. Was there really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they're doing it for the memes or if there is for like the memes, something yeah. they consider it. Oh my gosh. 17th November. Yeah. November 17th. October that November is literally about up. everything you could imagine in it. Uh, Goat Simulator 3. All right. A lot of people ask me how I got started in the industry. And what I loved doing when I was a kid with my brother, we would play PC adventure games. And I grew up playing classic LucasArts and Sierra Adventure mm -hmm. games. Oh, you guys uh, remember Monkey Island, Monkey Island by chance? Yeah. 
Well, I am so excited because there is a new Monkey Island in mm -hmm. development right now. Ron Gilbert, the series creator, is back. You may have heard about it. Return to Monkey Island. And tonight at Gamescom, I am so excited that we get to announce the release date. Or actually, I don't. We get to go to Stan to tell us the release date. Check this out. I'm, I'm really happy seeing all these release days because it at least makes the year not feel empty, even if it's not a, something we are going to play, like, ourselves, so. is about to bear fruit. But I wouldn't be doing my job if I just dropped the details on you without a little build-up. I, I really don't understand why people, like, gave crap to this art style. It's like... like this one. Yeah, it's yeah, great. And if escapism is your cup of flavor, you can't do much better than this exotic and extremely remote island. Stay back! How did you find me? Return to Monkey Island launches September 19th, which happens okay. to be International Talk Like a Pirate Day. <laughs> but you don't have to wait. Huh. You can order it right now, before it's even out. Something we in the marketing industry call a pre-order. As a bonus, I'm ready to unload this shipment of beautiful horse armor to anyone who pre-orders <laughs> Return to Monkey Island. It'll look fantastic oh God. in your inventory. Oi. You missed a spot. I've got to go now. I've got a lot of irons and a lot of fires. You know how it is. But I'll be back to Man, I remember when horse armor was like the most controversial I'll thing of all time. That was such a big deal back in the day. Yeah. Horse armor item in their inventory. Please note that the horse armor has no practical use in game and <laughs> Also, it's only on PC and Switch. Interesting. Return to Monkey Island. Oh my gosh, he said it literally has nothing to do with the game. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> a month away, and I love the horse armor, it does absolutely nothing, it just sits in your inventory. Return to Mike Alley, cannot wait for that. Alright, now let's turn uh. to the world of Unknown Worlds, the creators of Subnautica. As we've teased, they are Zach here is gonna to get wet. to unveil a brand new IP, and it's a departure from Subnautica. It's a brand new turn-based sci-fi game, and uh, well, uh, PJ is about to come. First time right oh, here. Boy. Actually, special guest is. Let's check this out. Hi, I'm Brandon Sanderson. You might know me hey. as the author of the Mistborn series, the Stormlight Archive, huh. or as the guy who finished Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time. Over the last few years, that's why you know him. Yeah. That's where my we friends know. I also read the Mistborn. The exciting project that's going to get a today. movie, I think, next mm -hmm. year. You, of course, know Unknown Worlds for creating immersive and fantastical worlds like the incredible Subnautica series. When they reached out to me, I was absolutely thrilled to help craft the expansive sci-fi universe in which their next game is set. This secret has been a hard one to keep, and we're so excited to finally show you what we've created together. So, without further ado, this is Moonbreaker. Moonbreaker, okay. World building alone is going to be nuts. Mm -hmm. Let us keep this civilized. Welcome to the party. That's Overwatch E style. I hate that it's definitely not something I'm interested in, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially it being like a strategy, a storm based something. Like I mentioned, I really wanted to like uh, the Diophil Chronicles because there's so much cool stuff in it, but. Yeah. yeah, that one. I would say this is probably going to be way more polished than that. Because <laughs> uh, that did not play really great. But that's the weird thing is with a lot of these kinds of games. The real love for the gameplay isn't something that you can get until way later on. Mm -hmm. And then you can't really just spoil that for anybody who would want to. Mm -hmm. But then anybody who wouldn't see all the cool stuff you can do isn't going to buy it. So it's kind of a catch-22. Yeah. I mean, it's... I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to love this. Oh my gosh, so you can like CG paint it like 3D modeling. <laughs> That's actually really cool by itself. I mean, I don't know, we didn't talk about it, but uh, Dungeons and Dragons just released, uh, or revealed that they're going to be releasing something that kind of looks like this. That's oh, going really? to help supplement um, like remote play. So they're going to have like really detailed miniatures that you can 
color and customize and put it out on like a computerized uh, world, just Charlie table Cleveland, Charlie Moonbreaker. It's to get real a better view and it's of it. So different than some <laughs> like uh, so Jeff Keighley single-handedly coming to save the rest of the year with all those release dates. Every game, right? Yeah, so people thought we were kind of crazy for making Subnautica after he making puts Natural work Selection. In, that's for sure. We went from a strategy shooter to a pacifist underwater game, survival. Uh, so I feel like we've done this before. We, you know, we love changing genres. Is it pacifist if you have to you know, hunt fish? Fans <laughs> yeah. along for playing a digital miniatures game. I hope. Well, it's so cool. A digital miniatures game. Uh, everyone loves miniatures, but how do you translate that into gameplay? What is the gameplay of this game? So uh, we're kind of channeling like a Guardians of the Galaxy or Firefly kind All of right. feel. So you can see that from the colorful art style we have. It did have an um, outer so you world kind of vibe to crew. it. Mm -hmm. And you build a roster. I just reinstalled like uh, game. Outer and Worlds on my Xbox because it's, it has really a like strange and special 60 kind of frames patch. So, so um, oh okay, yeah, on, only on Xbox. And you move them around on the oh. battlefield, and you get all these crazy game-changing powers, kind of like Hearthstone meets XCOM, kinda. Well, it, I love. I mean, you see the gameplay here; it looks great, and uh, uh, it's, it's coming soon, as we said, uh, in sure. September. So you're not early access; you're not going to wait long. But the thing I want to get to is the painting, painting of miniatures, which we saw a tease of in the trailer. Mm -hmm. And I know you actually, painting was cathartic for you sort of during the, the pandemic, right? Yeah, so the painting, I mean, you can't have a miniatures game without painting. And during the lockdown, I just found myself like learning to draw and just like, just zoning out and feeling re really relaxed when the world was basically falling apart around us. <laughs> and we really tried to capture that feeling. It, it's not like Photoshop or like special technical tools or anything like that. You, we just simulate washes, dry brushing. We've got decals. Um, this feels like you're actually terms you understand, right? <laughs> and I have to say, yeah. because everyone's surprised that's, by it, that's all like really all detailed. All the miniatures stuff. you see painted in the game are all painted with the tool, wow. so it's like actually pretty powerful. Amazing. Well, it's so cool that uh, you're revealing it here, and it's gonna it's playable at Gamescom, right? It is. It's here. You guys are the first ones to play it. Wow. And uh, oh yeah, it's more. <laughs> 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 We're over in the Crafton booth. Okay. Crafton booth. And for everyone else around the world, they're not yes. going to wait long, right? Yes, we'll be on Steam Playtest in September. Yeah. We have a couple open weekends, and then we're going to be launching um, into Steam Early Access September 29th. So it's wow. really close. Only a nice. month away, Moonbreaker. Charlie, thank you so much for Thanks. coming all the way out here. Thank you. you. I know you had a tough My time pleasure. here, but Thank you, everyone. It. All right, Charlie Cleveland, the Unknown Worlds. Thank you so much, Charlie. And now it's time to reveal another game with a very catchy tune in the trailer. Check this out. Let me tell you about the friends that invested all the on a shady site <laughs> that looked like a scam. It said, buy this magic card to play the coolest game and fight against your friends with no. I wonder if this is that uh, Goodbye Volcano High game that was like revealed two years ago. animated really well yeah it's basically the plot to Mega Man and two warriors <laughs> Oh, a shooter. It's like Borderlands. Yeah. <laughs> but with, um... Shoot, what's the Switch game that came out with the cards? Something uh, white. Neon White. Neon White, yeah. Yeah. Gosh. Inspired by the familiar story of Pinocchio, right. Lies of P is a new oh, action soul. That's right, they were going to show more gameplay of this. Wiz, and you huh. guide Pinocchio on his unrelenting journey to become human. This game looks absolutely great and we've got a brand new gameplay trailer to show you and this game is also coming to xbox game pass on day one let's there check you it go out. i got to play that in honor of the great writer carla colodi can you hear me we're almost an hour in paul this thing's flying ah oh, lee it really is yeah. this city Momentum's good. Mm -hmm. Look at this crap. Chaos. Chaos. <laughs> and there might be no going back. Oh, shit. But you can change that. It depends on the choice you make. It has a very Dark Souls-y, like, 
truth. Boys. Very, yeah, when... Or lie. Mer America? Mm -hmm. Or the doll from Bloodborne. Yeah. Ooh, this looks great. Yes. I remember being shocked how good it looks at that brief gameplay trailer. So this is like... But I don't have a choice. <laughs> look at this. Yes. Golly. What a great Pinocchio. Because <laughs> I, I do not like Pinocchio as like a concept. So the fact Please. that they're like so focused on it this Tell year. Me between three movies and this game it's weird <laughs> but this is like oh shoot this is like not even really Pinocchio at all this is just mm. really cool looking it looks like the guy that plays Paul on uh, <laughs> in Dune on the Dune <laughs> he's got Timothy that yeah Timothy Chalamet that's Chalamet. Right. the stage is set <laughs> Yeah, this is like climbing for me. I was like, I really want to play this. It's really cool. Well, I'll get to play it. It's a ga day one game pass. Right. Look at it's that. like freaking Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, it's it's basically the Bloodborne two we never got. Uh. Look, it even transforms the... <laughs> Ooh, that match cut. Fulfill. Lies of Pi. Your destiny. Hmm. Yeah, it's on PS5 and PS4, so you get to play it, or you'll just have to buy it. Something else to look forward to next year. Hey, you! Until hey, those you. games start also getting pushed, 2023 is looking very, very, very terrifying, Paul. That's, that's what we were saying to hear about this year. Yeah. Uh, so who knows how long a lot of that'll last, yeah. but... I wonder if they're gonna wise up and be like, hey, there's an entire year that we can move these games if we need to move them out of the early year. From wherever you are online, obviously, and, well, in case you're wondering who that little guy is, that's Epi, and he's on a mission to save the games converse from the evil future. And if you want to help him, check out the Epic section at gamescom.global. You can solve quests and win prizes, so take part and help Epi to save the games converse. But first, I want to tell you more about uh, some of the great program we have for this week. And it's quite a schedule, so please. It's like it's not me. even a contest. Is, They've example, done the so game much game better with this show than, on, than games, two months ago. Deaf interviews and all insights into this Definitely. year's Gamescom. So please make sure to check that out so you don't miss any. Remember when like the, in, in the summer game fest we had like seven games in a row that looked the same? Featuring the newest, <laughs> most original, crazy indie games here on Friday afternoon at 5.30 p.m. CST, and I'm really looking forward to it. And something I'm really looking forward to, uh, to, uh, to is, uh, is, is, the, is the cosplay contest on Sunday, where the super creative cosplay community takes center stage. And this is absolutely one of my favorites, so make sure to not miss it out. It is definitely worth the watch. And for more updates, Follow at Gamescom on all platforms, and well, now it is almost time to introduce our next guest, but sadly, she couldn't make it since she is a tad far away. So let's see, she sent us a video, and I would say, let's have a look. Hello, Gamescom. I'm Isa Astronaut oh, Samantha. Oh, yeah, that's pretty far away. Yeah. <laughs> currently flying at around 27,000 kilometers an hour, 400 kilometers above your head on board of the International Space Station. Today, I come to you to say bravo to the games industry. We see how many space games you've been creating recently. Those missions you send your players on aren't just great fun. They create curiosity, interest, and the love of space exploration in gamers around the world. As we look towards returning to the moon and on to Mars with our ambitious Terra Nova program, 
humanity's space flight capabilities will be in part thanks to the games industry. And who knows, perhaps even you will be among us here at ESA for the journey. Exploring space virtually isn't just great fun. It's having real world impacts that lead us all closer to the stars. So on behalf of I'm here to announce Pizza, Star Citizen's Bravo. release date. Yeah. <laughs> keep creating. Keep oh God, we'll we'll die before playing. that thing officially releases. This is Isa astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti wishing everyone a wonderful Gamescom from the International Space Station. But I probably tell you this new Destiny season is looking mighty, mighty. I think I, it could be an obsession. I bit the bullet and I bought uh, the annual pass. Uh, let's see. So for light an auto rifle that fires rocket tracers. Screw you! I'm buying right now. So it's normally a an auto rifle, and then its intrinsic trait is landing multiple hits, turns your next shot into a micro rocket. Yeah, I'm so, I'm pre-ordering right now. Yeah, it's. I think you have to restart the game though, because it's not mm -hmm. letting me get it right now. I need to. So it's like pre-ordering the expansion plus the annual pass, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For okay. 99. All right, pre-ordering, boom, confirm purchase. Oh. And it's like next to the tower, it has an icon for it, but then if you go to the right. exotic area of the tower, that's where you pick okay. it up. Brave new world. Okay, so it's a survival game. Mm -hmm. The sequel to Horizon Forbidden West. Yeah. That game that came out this year. <laughs> Stranded Alien. <laughs> or I was <laughs> joking. <laughs> but okay. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> or I sincere thought Stranded Alien. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> oh man, that's. Okay, so it's really like a base builder kind of game, but gosh, that's so funny. That was incredible timing. <laughs> when we were looking at games for Gamescom Opening Night Live, uh, one of the things I was most impressed with this year is there are a lot of European studios that wanted to debut games here, and also a lot of brand new IP, brand new worlds, and we're going to introduce one of those to you right now, and I think you're going to get pretty excited about it. Check out Jeff's this Jeff's jacket confuses me because it looks like it's made out of parachute material. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was Guerrilla Games? No. Oh, no focus. I'm no. getting that mixed up. Deck 13. The sand has memories. Memories of our past. When gods walked this world. And our heroes stood amongst them. Like in the song, the, the music. Grew. I like chants. Like, epic, we terrifying chants. I don't know why. That just uh, arouses me. Only remnants I would say pick a different word for that, but I understand <laughs> what you mean. In the, sand, in the ruins this of this doing shattered, it for me so far. broken world. Ooh. Come on, give me some good traversal or something. Mm. Some gameplay. Gosh, that looks dope. This has got to be like open world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is going to be like a CG reveal. I just want to understand what the game is going to be like, because you almost don't even know what genre it's going to be mm -hmm. until you see gameplay. It's just aesthetically, though, it's fantastic. At least I'll, I'll give it that for sure. Ooh. Oh, if that's in game. Ooh. If it if it becomes gameplay, that. Um, and you get to glide on the ground like that, it's like they looked at Forspoken and were like, "Hey guys, what if we did this but not cringy?" Yeah. <laughs> oh god. There are freaking dragons. Let me know if you're able to get this thing because I keep hitting acquire for the new auto rifle and it keeps trying to put me to the pre-order so maybe like really yeah 
Even though I just bought it. <laughs> okay. I'm resetting the game right now, so... I've already reset it once, yeah. and it's still doing that. So, where is the kiosk? So is it at the helm or at the tower? It's at the tower where you get all the exotic archives. Mm -hmm. Or at least that's where it had the option to acquire, but when I hit it, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to hand it to me somewhere else. Mm. Atlas Fallen. I can't lie, that looked really good. Yeah, hey, oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> it's like. That's how you do a reveal. Oh my gosh, yes. 2023. <laughs> it's uh, next gen only. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, for a second, it gave me Greedfall vibes. Now, I was like, please let it be. Good. I remember playing in the late 90s is Homeworld. Did anyone else play that back in the day? Great PC space RTS. Well, a brand new homeworld is coming <laughs> out next guys year. You guys shout. Uh, and we've got a brand new look at some new gameplay from Homeworld. Let's check it out. It looks like the legendary that they give out for Vanguard was a simple Crucible perimeter and Gambit is a grenade mm -hmm. launcher. Escorting resources. With incandescent we swashbuckler on raiders. Fighters were no problem. Space uh, strategy. Different mm -hmm. story. Command got Please clever. Let us be on console. One wing used cover to keep themselves <laughs> safe on approach. This looks like PC only. Dang it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks so cool though. While another group found a tunnel in the structure to sneak behind them. This is exactly how I pictured how Ender's Game was. Arrived. <laughs> Did you ever watch that or read? Re Ender's Re Game. Uh, Ender's Game was the movie, right? That came out like. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. oh. basically, most of the game was we protected the resources a while virtual reality space simulator like this. Mm -hmm. So, I'm having the same trouble you are with the uh, auto rifle. So, it's not just me then. Yeah, so it's, it's a life of pre order items. I've been acquiring it since we to pre order again. Yeah. Oh. And we even grabbed a little souvenir. That missile frigate is ours now. Epic and stupid. Homeworld 3 I hope it's in good. the first half mm -hmm. of 2023. Awesome. Now today is a big day, speaking of threes, because it's the version 3.0 update to Genshin Impact, uh, mm -hmm. which is an incredible action RPG from Hoyoverse. Well, today we've got an exclusive new look at version 3.0 in the new Rainforest Nation, as well as a sneak peek of a mysterious ancient civilization and settlement that is found deep inside the desert. Let's take a look at this world premiere. Genshin is the kind of game that I love how it looks, but yeah, I I remember trying it when it came out because I was like, oh, it's like Breath of the Wild but on PS4, and then I was mm -hmm. like, oh, so it's that's like part of it, and it's definitely not what you want to focus on because mm -hmm. you can only do so much because it's got that currency that you can only play yeah. like so much a day or you spend real money. And the rest is gotcha rolls for other characters. Mm -hmm. I can't fault them for their designs, though. They they I kill it see. on all of their creations. I mean, the design they, are, they had of Aloy. Oh yeah, that's right, because that was mm -hmm. a whole thing. Their editors are going off right now. <laughs> Sheesh. They're adding Egypt. Like, I need more Egypt in my life after Origins. 
But that looks amazing. Yeah, I I can't fault them at the all art style. for both the art style, the world that they built, the ridiculous size of it all. And because it's decently well applied live service what an absolutely elements beautiful that game. It's and like that's oh, there's always new versions, things going on they also it. have honkai star rail in development it's a grand interstellar adventure with strategic turn-based combat and now we're going to take a new look at the story and adventure that awaits you in honkai star rail they've got like five or six different games by now Shoot. Freaking space train. Mm -hmm. Sign me up. <laughs> of five people, three must pay a price. You are not one of them, Jin Yuan. <laughs> Genjo is in danger. This man, he... The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. Um, Paul, go to Rahul in the tower. Time oh, that's for our next Gamescom okay. Award, mm -hmm. and here are I your nominees to, um, for the most wanted Microsoft it wasn't there, Xbox game. But I did check after mm -hmm. after the engrams. There it is. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot, he's got a lot of stuff you can acquire. Yeah. The last case of Benedict Fox. The ghost shell. Oh, last case of Benedict Fox. Yeah. Metal Helsinger. Um. So yeah. Uh, additional rewards. And the winner so is get the last case of Benedict Yeah, that, that, that was the most exciting thing from the and Xbox conference that, wa that was in Diablo and Starfield. Yeah. Creative director at Plot Twist. Frick, yeah. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. It's uh, quite of a shocker for us. Uh, we just love uh, good Metroidvania games. And uh, we are working hard on... Uh, You're speaking to my soul, brother. Metroidvania. <laughs> and I would like to thank uh, Xbox team uh, for their support. And... Uh, Rogue team for being the best publisher ever, and especially I would like to thank my team uh, in Krakow. They are crazy talented, and uh, my hands hold the award, but uh, their hands make the game. Dziękuję wam bardzo. Thank you. Congratulations once again, the last case of Benedict Fox, and Jeff, back to you. That's very thank well put. My hands hold the award, but much, their Mally. hands make uh, the game. Yeah. <laughs> it's Royland. like a poem. Yeah, High on Life, the Rick game that Gordon. recently got uh, well, he's got a brand delayed. new game, which you may have seen at Xbox's show in June, called High on Life. It is coming to Xbox and Game Pass in December, and they wanted to send us just a great gameplay clip. Uh, you're gonna enjoy this. Uh, Look, he has shown gameplay. Like, fight, and that's he's, he's shown more than. I think you're Credit gonna for, really. Well, where it's this due, is a trip. Sure. Check this out. World premiere of High on Life. <laughs> Come on, admit it. We're, we're, we're hurting you. No. I get to play for free, Are you and you potentially, if you get one on December. Jesus, it's so gross. You even win in there. Honestly, it's it's not something that I vibe with anymore. Maybe when I was. And uh, when I was still interested in that one odd world game from uh, the Xbox. Mm -hmm. no, I, I thought you were going to say, this looks like something I would have loved when I was younger, but looking at it now. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have hated it. It's, it's an interesting style. I think I just have better things to play now. Mm -hmm. This is like 
back when I was, uh, had all of the time. It's kind of funny, honestly. I watch videos of Trevor Saves the Universe, and that game was funny. I didn't play it because it was a VR game. So. Yeah, I, I think I had a friend that played it, and I watched him play it. The beauty of this is that because it's, a, it's on Game Pass, I get to try it like I did Omori. Yeah. Which I hated. But I'm gonna give it another shot later today. For Sack's sake. If not, he's going to the PJ pile of I don't trust his game's opinions. I don't know. I think I've heard enough about it that I know that there's something to it. Um, Same. And so it's interesting that you had bounced off of Mori so much at the time, mm -hmm. but I'm wondering if uh... it was yesterday night. I was, it was yeah, 11, so. and having to play hide and seek with two bunch of kids and not being able to fight two kids after going in circles. I was like, you know what? Screw this. We've learned that late night opinions on games yeah. need to be revisited in the morning. That's why. Yeah, that's why. That's why. I, that's why I said I would revisit today. Feeling less cranky. Wow, so they just cut away from the fight? That <laughs> yeah. was weird. I was expecting some kind of finisher or something. Hey, you gotta leave some surprises where oh, people are gonna play in December. That? Yeah. What? When? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Metaverse. What is it? Wait, what are you? Dude, don't eat that. You know she's gonna eat it. Dude! What? Dude! Yep. No! No! Told ya. Gross. <laughs> Dark Tide. Wow. Uh, this is different from the other Warhammer 40k yeah. game that's coming out, right? <clears throat> yeah, this was the one that was announced as a Xbox exclusive. Right. So. Okay, and that's... Uh, Tower of Fantasy. I don't know. I heard that, heard of that recently, but I don't know anything about it besides mm -hmm. it being like the next Genshin clone. I yeah, think. Blood Hunt is just uh, refuses to release. I know. Well, it's um, it's early access, isn't it? I think there's a vampire game. I think, or, or was it Bloodlines? That is the one that refuses to release. Okay. Yeah. GTFO. I thought that came out already. Cause uh, yeah, yeah, cause that's in uh, early access on PC too. One of my friends mm -hmm. played it. V Rising, that's out on PC. Yeah, that Diablo looking game. Which I almost got this because it looks really good, but I'm just part of me wants to wait for it to come out on console. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah. I feel like it's popular enough to eventually make it. Yeah. What the heck is going on in PUBG? Yeah. <laughs> that was like. So, yeah, these were all the level infinite uh, games. So remember, level infinite is Tencent. I know. Just, I. Mm. It sucks because it's like You've been selected the, some of these games look really good, candidates. but it's like it's Tencent. Yeah. To join the Lynx family. You're from Earth, right? This is more than just a job. It's an okay. opportunity. You ever miss it? Did we get a reveal trailer for this a while back. Mm -hmm. What they say about work in space is true. There's something real special here. You don't have power here. You never will. Look around you. We're expendable. I can, I can hear them in the walls. They ain't a tray lagging. Dancing between the ribs of a ship, gaze out at the rest of the human. I feel like the gameplay is the, the opposite of what I'm hearing right That's now. When right? Because <laughs> the, the audio the sounds way. like Soma, and the gameplay looks like a chill salvaging game. Mm. That's the way things go. It's Hard Space Shipbreaker. It almost like a sci fi pressure washing simulator for a second. <laughs> 
Hey, uh, Game Pass for Immortals Phoenix Rising. Mm -hmm. I'm glad they get. To, uh, if they haven't bought it yet, like that's a good Game Pass game. Yeah, that's coming out today. Yeah. Gotta download it. Um, I haven't messed with that B yet. Really? <laughs> you suck at parking. <laughs> that's fantastic. Now we're talking. Yeah, the Immortals Phoenix Rising was unfortunately completely forgot about. Yeah. I mean, being the third Ubisoft game in a month. Yeah. You gotta really. help me rescue my friends. Bring it together now. Bring it together now. I watched my uh, sister-in-law play Slime Rancher. And I bet and she was, was like, at, she, she she was like all over it. Oh, absolutely. And it's I can see why. It's mm -hmm. uh, that's like a perfect kid game. It, it really is. It's got like a little bit of complexity, but it's enough that like kids can really pick it up and play it without having to worry. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to figure out where, if I get a Series S, where it would even go on my... Yeah. On the, Prime the what? Series, the <laughs> like, on my Entertainment Center, I don't have a whole lot of space. Game Awards, so I'm like, where would I even put a Series S? Just put it next to the PS5 Gameplay if it's standing. It's like, it's so tiny. So it darn is. tiny. I just, it's already got my Switch and my uh, controller charger next to the PS5. Hey, buddy. <laughs> the cameo. Uh, I can't lift him from here. <laughs> oh, oh it's, a, it's the dog. Okay. Yeah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> the Expanse is obviously one of those. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The cameo. Great he has arrived. <laughs> yes. I'm super excited about is I love. I, I love. A big, part big of fluffy them dogs. The game, not They're the best. The He's already so we huge. Also think about how can we <laughs> hey, that will make All right. What are we watching now? Part of this yeah, the Expanse so uh, from Telltale. Oh, that's than just right. Being a passive audience member. You'll figure something out. I know you will. It's actually been a really interesting thing play... as an actor to explore some of her more God. vulnerable sides. That by the time we meet her in the series, they've been cauterized. <laughs> because the score drummer. Okay, so this must pre this the predate the books in the show. Mm, probably. You'll need me if you want any chance of unloading it. I need to read more of it. I really like the first book. Because it's basically Mass Effect before Mass Effect was a thing. Everyone keeps telling me that. It's exploded ship that now comes It was really cool. And even the, in a mass. the show for what it was along. being a sci fi channel TV show was better like than it had any right to be. Yeah, by the way, it's like Telltale moving away from its horrible engine to an Unreal Engine. You are now among it's a genius idea. Yeah. They're ghosts. A way too late idea, but I'm glad that the revived Telltale fixed that. Pretty dark job. We're really excited about how it feels to both play and experience the story in the game. I like that it still has a very good style to it. That mm -hmm. Doesn't let it be like um, too photorealistic. Dark Pictures anthology mm -hmm. jank or anything. Deck nine. For yeah, Deck Nine did Life Life is Strange Beyond the Storm, the prequel. Speaking so. of adapting things from one medium to I, another, Life is Strange is one that I need to get through. I have the first game, one. I don't mm -hmm. think you would have ever expected. Like but it's just like another case of I have other things to play and then I yeah. never get around to it. <laughs> I mean, you you still haven't finished. Uh, Gosh, uh, like you can Wolf, list Wolf anything. I, I haven't yeah. finished anything. Yeah. It's a miracle you finished the uh, Horizon and Forbidden West, and I'm so pleased that you did. Part of me wants to go back to some of the side stuff. Um, yeah, like if I get tired of the new Destiny season. I mean, uh, what else? We're waiting for Last of Us now, so. Basically. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that midnight fight. There's not much else unless mm -hmm. they do a patch for Saints Row that makes it better. Mm -hmm. And at that point, it may like drop in price. So this is, it said Friday the 13th, mm -hmm. some kind of horror thing. 
Yeah, it's like the uh, Ilphonic. The guys that made it. Multiplayer horror. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's like it's another Dead by Daylight style. Yeah. But it's not Ilphonic. It's a television games. Yeah. So. Goats, killer clowns. It's interesting how popular those are. Night live. Uh, now we've got See, even though that, that really does game announcement from a European publisher me, it's for a sci-fi action adventure. Mm -hmm. Here we go. To the point where they made a dating <laughs> Dead by Daylight. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe it's a real yeah. thing. Prime Matter, Matted Games. Another sci-fi horror game. Sounds like it. Oh shoot, it's light phone. <laughs> From the darkness. I was born at the dawn. There's a more double A looking game. It's got great art direction. Ah. But I definitely see there's like a lacking budget. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a third person shooter. Mm hmm. Scars above. I mean, shoot, we were talking about the lack of uh, double A games. Mm hmm. We need more. We certainly do. Now we're going to talk More about Gamescom for, uh, Goes Green, which year. is an initiative that has made Gamescom the first climate-friendly gaming event in the world. Okay. The core <laughs> event and this show, Opening Night Live, I'm happy to say, are 100% climate neutral different. for the first time, and that's yeah. something we all should be very proud Gamescom of. Gamescom Goes Green. You guys are part of that, too. Now, as part of this initiative, Gamescom, along with the United Nations Environmental Pro Program Initiative, Playing for the Planet, are going to give out the okay. first ever Gamescom Goes Green Award to the best sustainability concept from an exhibitor here at Gamescom. And the nominees are Microsoft Xbox, Yuki, and the Indie Arena booth. And to find out the winner, let's turn it over to Melly. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. And yes, the winner of this year's Gamescom Goes Green Award is Yuki. And here to accept Yay. the award is Dr. <laughs> Joe Twist, CEO of Yuki. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gamescom, for this wonderful award. It's brilliant to be recognized. Thank you to the I Yuki team who works so hard every day to yeah. be greener. Uh, and thank you to the I'll US say before I say it again, it's like I feel inspiring us to change. we should leave the worst no, to so the Game Awards. to see these amazing yeah. game worlds that we're going to play in over the next you, year. But you know, we only it, it have one planet to a halt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for what is a, a very good show. Yeah. To make mm -hmm. a change and to protect that planet so that we can continue to play. It's because who games. votes for these? So, so that, yeah. like, at, le at, at least with the uh, business, Game Awards, you, you know that it's like the votes from the outlets with a little percentage of the, the audience voting. So it's like, right. when did this voting happen? Together. It feels very arbitrary. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joe, and congratulations it. once again to you. By the way, this auto rifle's and nuts. Remember, it is not I, only the organizers I've kind of like not touched any of it, and green. I really All of you can also make a change by donating to the Gamescom Forest. So plant your Gamescom free today. Jeff, I have so many you. armor pieces awesome. that I'm trying mm -hmm. to get very much, Melly. Congratulations to Yuki. Uh, now it's time to announce a brand new game from a new studio of industry veterans working on an ambitious new RPG. Here's there the you first go. tease. We need more RPGs because they are like, yes, we're lacking of those right now. Serious. Fall out through. <gasps> okay. No. That's. Um, Those are the names you need to put out for be like, you know that style of game that has been not well served right now. <laughs> yeah. There exists. Listing Human off like lives. seven different big hitters from Bethesda. Uh -huh. All right, let's, and Obsidian. Let's see. You've got my curiosity. And one behind the eye. Mm 
wire or song? So that was like really early stages, but mm -hmm. shoot, Lots they got me in that first stage. Yeah. Let's yeah. talk sure. about Xbox and Age of Empires 4 that continues to expand. Now we have Travis Shea. Travis Shea. Travis Shea. 20 minutes. DLC. 20 if you want to learn more about what's <laughs> happening with Age of Empires 4, tune into the Xbox booth stream for developer interviews on Thursday. But right now, here's yeah. that announcement no, thanks. from Age of Empires 4. More than one way to win a battle. Dun, 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 gameplay, holy crap! Victory. <laughs> I still can't believe it's been a year, Paul, and I'm not over the trebuchet thing from that, that time. That was <laughs> truly amazing. <laughs> yeah. When they had gameplay, right? They just <laughs> didn't show it there. Uh, they showed an Achilles thing. Also, they literally were like, "Hey, we're gonna take 20 minutes." To show you how a trebuchet works. <laughs> like, excuse me? With powerful siege tools and the ability to rally large formations, the Ottomans can keep the pressure on to bring down their enemies' defenses. It's kind of cool because where Age of Empires could have gotten lost to obscurity because mm -hmm. Total War took over so much, they really leaned into the style. And the original developer of the Age of Games died. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so, like, they had everything against them, but it's just, it's so vibrant. And it's probably just, like, a different style than something, like, Total War can even do. So, mm -hmm. good for them for leaning into that. Another game talks. There you go. Time to head hey, to Gotham. Gotham. You guys excited for Gotham Knights? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to wait long. It is coming this October, and Batgirl, Nightwing, Robin, and Red Hood are going to take over in Gotham Knights. You're probably wondering about the story. Who are the villains? Well, we've got a lot to share in this brand new trailer, and also some exciting news. The release date is going to be a little earlier right. than you expected. Check this out. Oh. The game's gold, so. If it's gold, yeah, Jim you're right, because they finished pretty anything. quick. Uh -huh. I mean, before they were That's expected. That's why Gotham City is still here. So October 25th was the original release right. date. And I've known for a while now that someday, like him, I'd have to work Look, with you. Look, what I'm saying, it looks better than it what does. they show at IGN. The lighting is definitely I've far improved. I've seen plenty of criminals in my career, but... <laughs> Big! No. Oh. could have prepared me for this. Hey, Harley. Well, hey. well, if it isn't Brat Girl. The, the facial animations are much better. City is at her weakest. There's blood in the water, and the sharks oh, are circling. Yeah, that's the Mr. Freeze part. That was the reveal nice. in 2020. But we are I, going to get I must have missed that. that was DC, DC fandom. 2020. Uh, that's why I you were not watching it. Only me and Sack watched it. Yeah. I hold by that. I didn't want to. Clayface. <laughs> I love Clayface. Yes. I need your Good for them showing all the different outfits. Mm -hmm. Skills. This now looks like a game I'm excited to play. This this looks good. Yeah. Oh yes, takedowns. Oh look, the sex cult. <laughs> you got my back. I still can't believe they made that <laughs> The joke made itself. Yeah. Sure. This and this is co-op, Paul. We could play this together. Yeah. It's it's looking so much better. Like there's an actual story now. Because mm -hmm. it felt like this weird live service. Here's random events, and that's all we'll show you. Mm -hmm. And it's not a live service. It's just an RPG. Exactly, that's yeah, why it was I'm so weird that it felt like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I think about it? They're gonna have to make different uh, cinematics depending on the character you're mm -hmm. playing as. So that's gonna be 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, kids are like by four days. By uh, the week before. Same time as Call of Duty, uh, Modern Warfare campaign. Yep. But I think I can manage. It, it gives me more time to play Gotham Knights before God of War. Yeah. Where wins meet. It's an interactive Good open point. world RPG featuring action, adventure, and martial arts and set course, in a turbulent time in the Northern Song so Dynasty. Yeah. I think right now really Keely is like finally riding the wave of the release days. That's what makes this show more exciting. And all of these coming so soon, it's like mm -hmm. there's less of a chance of them getting delayed. As oh, yeah. Earlier. Like in Gotham Knight's case, gold is gold. Remember, yeah. Cyberpunk is a one in a million. I know. So I didn't hear what he said the name of this one was. Yeah. Did we hear from this before? No. You know, this reminds me, there was a show on Netflix called Kingdom. Mm-hmm. That was really good. Um, and it's such a cool concept that it's just shocking that you don't hear that. Look, that reminds me of Ghost of Tsushima, and for all my qualms with that game, that game is just a stunner. Like in, in its in its presentation, it's reminding it's, me of that. And it's quiet moments too, mm -hmm. which I know there were other games that did it more before, but that was the game where I first noticed how it almost incentivized you to just chill mm -hmm. and rest. Um, and I respect that so much more now. And even with like Haiku. Bridge of Spirits mm -hmm. and all that stuff, um, how they have moments where you can just sit and be quietly watching the environment. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, right. It feels like I'm looking at ghosts. Oh yeah, this really does now. Ooh. Yeah, this is like. <laughs> yep, that is. Mm -hmm. It's so blatant. I I don't even care. Ooh. Oh, it's mythology. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a cool idea. It's looking like the kind of game I like. Yep, he's got my stealth. <laughs> There's something about these, uh, about samurais that I feel demands this kind of supernatural style. Well, this is um, definitely more Chinese or Korean. Mm -hmm. So it, the aesthetic is going to be a little different in practice. Mm -hmm. But it's also mythology that I know significantly less about. So uh, everything they do just sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, that Black Myth Wukong had a new trailer a uh -huh. while back. That was the one with the uh, the monkey dude with the staff. Mm -hmm. Where winds meet. Okay. Oh, excuse me. It's got great direction. Mm -hmm. It's it's powerful for sure. It's just striking. Shoot. Life of Black Tiger. This is basically. <laughs> I said it twice now, but it's like Elden Ring, but in a different culture. Uh. <laughs> it's like this dark fantasy, creepy magic and weird stuff going on. But it's got heart, as mm -hmm. opposed to some other recent things that have been coming out. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely Where one of those. Like... Meet. Again, so much new okay. IP tonight. It's really cool. All right. Shoot. Yeah. Back when we started O&L in 2019, a very special guest joined me here in person uh, to Gosh, close dang the it. show. And this year, when I told him that we were going to be back here live in person, Guess who? I said, well, i got to take part in some way. Uh, so please uh, say hello to my good friend, Hideo Kojima. Yeah. Kojima? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> He's got that other uh, thing working on. Uh -huh. え、僕は今ですね、え、ゲームの制作、え、ゲームの新作に取り組んでおりますが、今回は別のニュースのお知らせとなります。この度9月から、え、僕のポッドキャスト番組で、なんと独占配信することになりました。<笑> 
Translated? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Simultaneously. Yeah, Kojima stuff, like. Yeah, people would kill for that. Huh. It already feels like a glimpse of his personal life mm -hmm. on Twitter. He's still my favorite uh, Twitter account to follow. Just from like the sheer oblivious jovial energy. Yeah. <laughs> I watched this random obscure movie and it's yeah. brain structure. <laughs> Dang, that picture though. September. Last year <laughs> opening night live, we announced Park Beyond from Limbic Entertainment and Bandai Namco. And this year, they've got an awesome uh, booth experience for those of you here in person. And for those of you at home, we've got a brand new trailer that shows you more of this incredible amusement park simulation game. Park simulation game. Yeah, Feels park like simulation by Bandai Namco. Yeah, ice news. <laughs> Ice news, really? Okay, yeah. so this is just something that I missed the boat on. Yeah. Here is a little something to oh, okay, never mind. I know exactly what this yeah. is. You know what I'm surprised it hasn't shown up? Doki V. Zack's I'm Nightmare. I'm glad. I don't want that to show up. <laughs> I don't want it. Unless we see, like, actual gameplay and not a music video. Mm. I'm tired of that. Yeah. <laughs> I just, like... To me, it's just that knowing that it unsettles Zack so much that fills me out, fills my heart with happiness. I don't know what it is about your love of uh, <laughs> torment, but yeah. <laughs> you think you'd like something like Outlast much more? Great case. job, guys! <laughs> this has a lot of potential. Hmm. <laughs> Couldn't we go a step beyond? Me as a kid would have gone nuts for this. Game. Oh yeah, so this is so perfect kid game. I used to play. Perfect kid game. Yeah. I like the song. It's a pop. I what used to love you? like seeing all the intricate things going around. Your imagination? This is perfect. Beyond. Coming soon. So we're less than 30 minutes away before this, this finishes, and I'm wondering what's what's so Keeley's mic drop moment. We have here. Last year he closed his show today. with uh, Death Stranding. Last, Last of Us Part One. one. Yeah. yeah. All right, now it's time <laughs> Can you imagine? Another special <laughs> oh, announcement here at Gamescom. Not a Such game, a but a concept car. That's right, it's here at Gamescom, and I got to catch up with Oliver Heimer, the head of Mini There's Design. There's always got to be one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when we're live. Ha. <laughs> yeah. This is going right, to be that, uh, at the mini booth with Oliver. This is the, mini this is the breather moment. Reveal. <laughs> yeah. This looks so cool. I'm glad you like it. At least well, let's it's take a look and That's learn more cool. in this trailer. I saw a Pokemon there. Yeah, so it's like partnered with Pokemon, mm -hmm. but it doesn't look anything like it would be. Okay. Big wow, this love. This looks so cool. I have so many questions for you, Oliver. Uh, first of all, I want to ask you about this partnership. I sleep. Uh, a car with gaming features and Pokemon. How did this come together? <laughs> yeah, first of all, let's talk about Gamescom. You know, yeah. Gamescom is um, one of the core events of uh, fandom pop culture. And as we ourselves are a part of that pop culture, we don't want to miss out such a great event. And the Pokemon Company International, and we have a lot in common. We're both iconic brands. And Mini is more than a car. It's a character. You partner to explore the world. And the world of Pokemon is full of unique characters. Say, it it looks kind of cool powers. for 
one of the so many we share a love mm -hmm. for distinctive design oh paul by the way don't events. touch the mayhem playlist i'm gonna ask you your favorite pokemon in a What's minute but like? first <laughs> oh because, because it's oh gosh it's probably tell us break it down why does this appeal to gamers people using the new so, exotics yeah. first of all it's all about no it's a um, arc 3.0 it's designed to be oh, playful yeah, as the brand is the pokemon mode welcomes you inside of the car and then you can connect your gaming console to your mini and all you notice is a lot of details referencing Pikachu in particular. Yeah. The Aceman is fully electric, just like Pikachu <coughs> is an electric type. So they're a perfect match. Uh, is there an overarching motto to this partnership? So indeed there it is. We asked ourselves the right. question, what is if a car could connect it with your gaming console, just like it does with your uh, smartphone? So we are promoting a playful mindset, just like our brand and Pokemon. So our Gamescom claim is play on, never stop playing. Well, speaking of never stop playing, will we see you next year at Gamescom as well? Yeah, we plan to stay in the game and play on for sure, like we always have from the get-go. So stay tuned. Awesome. All right, Oliver, thank you so much. And we've got much more O&L still to come. Another level infinite. Dark tide. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is just mm -hmm. more cool. This again, like dark, like uh, level infinite has Welcome its hands in some really cool looking games. On the brink of they have Mr. Cipher behind them. Are a reject. It is your duty to fight. So Paul, now that you mentioned that you were watching Glee, you're primed for Riverdale now. <laughs> I don't know, man. That seems, still seems like a step a little too far. Yeah. No reinforcements. Not at first. The the beginning is very Glee, so with a murder mystery. It's just afterwards that it becomes what it becomes. <laughs> I gotta say, this the mechanics for this thing great. Yeah. The battle for is about yeah, this was a huge get for Xbox. Like. Rejects will rise. Rejects. Yeah, and it, it, it got pushed from September to November 30th. So. Uh, okay. Another focus Once entertainment. Time, what in the world are they doing? Two twin sisters. Yeah, focus is um, Plague Tale. They're the publishers of Plague Tale, so they're like four or five different games time, now using focus entertainment. Yeah, no hey, they're that they're a double A team, so you can't yeah. Hide from Baba, and, and and at this point in time, better than Embracer. Yeah. In the quality department. To rock. What the hell is wrong with this forest? <laughs> like first person dark fantasy Kena. Yeah. With magic and bow and arrows. This is like uh gosh, it almost it made me think of Lichdom Battle Mage. Ah <laughs> But except with a bow. Uh -huh. This if anything is... bad happens. Always head straight to the red oak. Black tail. Okay. It's this winter. So that's uh January. No, that's yeah, yeah, probably. God damn it, so many games, Paul. There's a lot of stuff going yeah. on. But that's the thing, regardless of the ultimate outcome of twenty twenty three, the yearly part of twenty twenty three looks horrifying again. That's the downside. Is it where a Sifu? Oh no, yeah. Never mind. Okay. There's uh, something so satisfying about that dodge uh, insta kill in when games implemented. Yep. Ooh. Phantom Hellcat. 
this one. That means it's not gonna come out for a while. Call of Duty? No. Oh, no, this is Crossfire X. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they said that Crossfire X was going to be here. The worst game of the year. It's funny because whenever the trailers show it, it's like, oh, this is so crazy. It's totally... Yeah, but it's like mechanically horrible. Yeah, it's mechanically horrible. It's like, it looks horrible. They're, they're, they're selling it really well, though. Because if you don't know anything about it, this would look fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the game's out. <laughs> so. I mean, for a final award. usually, you know, an but update worry, is like, there oh, is more on Saturday, mm -hmm. So make sure to not miss our award show on Saturday. But here are your nominees for the most wanted Sony PlayStation game. Let's see which ones. The Dark Pictures, The Devil in Me. Mm -hmm. Lies of Pete. These are the most wanted PlayStation games. One One. Or just that are here in Gamescom. Yeah. Oh, Give it to like, the is... to Gamescom, yeah. Lies of P. Yeah, Lies of P is the best thing that, of, of those three. It's like. It's all stuff that's yours. like. Oh, thank you. They've definitely um, already chosen all, it. I'm because like the person's already sitting members. there st standing and, uh, with the statue and everything. Our best to leave it up to the our team's name the NOF. And finally, do you know BTS? <laughs> like BTS in Korean pop, and uh, we'll be the NOF in the Korean gaming industry. Thank you. Kamsamda. Thank you. Congratulations once again to Liza P. Thank you so much. And yes, that's it from me to, for tonight. But before I say goodbye, I want to bring your attention to a more serious matter. The past five months of war have been devastating for the Ukrainian families, and UNICEF and partners on the ground are supporting those in need. And of course, funds are needed. So please consider donating at unicef.org if it's possible. And um, yes, we have to take care of each other. Gamescom also supports the development of Antura, the language learning uh, game for Ukrainian children. Antura is based on an app w which was made for uh, Syrian war refugees to learn the local uh, language. And I mean, in times like this, it is more important than ever to take care of each other. And I hope you keep that in mind, not only for Gamescom this week, but way after. Thank you so much. That's it from me, and have a wonderful day. Yo, game. remember so, when uh, Jack, the country that uh, we're hosting you, this Mel. on great started World War II? <laughs> we got a few more games to Games comes now. in Germany. <laughs> One of the great things about games comes we love to profile games made in Germany, and this next game was made by four students in Berlin. It was a big uh, success on Steam, and now it's coming to a new platform, and we've got the announcement right now. Let it be pray, pray for the gods too. Oh, nice, and from Nintendo. <laughs> because Pray for the Gods was made by three people. That reminds me of uh, Hellenders. Thomas the Tank Engine Simulator. <laughs> looks cool. Yeah. Dorf Romantic. I mean, what else has, does Nintendo have for the rest of this year? <laughs> yeah. Cute, beautiful. Uh, now other than Splatoon. Oh, yeah. Outlast and and Trials. Pokemon. You guys excited for this game? The Outlast oh, Trials we Lord. showed you last year yeah. at Gamescom Open Night Live, and we haven't heard anything since, really, from the team. And everyone keeps yeah. asking me, when are we going to get to play this? Well, tonight, we've got the world premiere of the brand new trailer, and yes, some news on when you might get to play it. <laughs> Here we go. That's how you do it. Give, give us release dates. I feel the first time you reveal a game, you're allowed to not give a release date. The second time, you gotta give an idea. Yeah, just even a win. Yeah. 
Yeah, window is like the minimum for your second showing. By your third showing, you have, you gotta have an idea. Yeah. I think it's this is multiplayer and multiplayer and outlast. Yeah. Like, so is it it looks like it's co cooperative for mm -hmm. the most part? Kinda reminds me of um, uh, they had that one really terrible saw game on 360. Good. Okay. <laughs> I thought that hole was something else, so I'll leave it at that. November 8th, 28th, and November 1st, the beta. So. In the middle of a lot of other stuff going on. That's right. Some people will get to release well, something this year. Well, at least we know when the beta the is, but mm -hmm. right. for the release. Next up, yeah. we got a tease of the first release from Embark Studios, which a lot of the veterans that worked on the Battlefield franchise in Stockholm, Sweden. They've got a shooter wrapped in a game show format where destruction is going to play a key role. What we've got here is a short tease with some actual gameplay in it, the full reveal is coming later in September. You can sign up uh, starting now to get in to start play tests of this. Check out the finals. From people that left Battlefield, so. Yeah. Um, a few of those key words had me curious. <laughs> oh, it's from the next song. <laughs> and just like that, you've lost me. Yeah. <laughs> the finals <laughs> no no that's not gonna get me at all all no. right <laughs> we got one more game for you tonight at gamescom opening night Here live but this is what all right. we've all what been waiting it? a long it time for yeah here we go yeah what has he not shown i'm trying to think it's gonna be either really obvious or we'll never see it coming Oh, Dead Island 2. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course. He got screwed again. <laughs> oh, this poor guy. Like. Can you imagine people trying to figure out what this was going to be? Uh-huh. He must be so mad. Yeah, it's like Sony leaked Last of Us by themselves. Now, like, the Amazon leaked Dead Island. It's like. It's like we already also know they released it. It's coming on February 3rd. This game has been in development for like more than eight years and has passed hands like from developer to developer. They've definitely lost any interest that I once had in it. Especially because all we keep getting is CG trailers for it. Mm -hmm. The leak came with gameplay screenshots. So it doesn't look bad. It's just... Uh... Okay, I didn't... Oh, you know what? I do remember now. It just, I mean, it was screenshots, which mm -hmm. is like, okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> 
the concept of that original game was really cool. It was genius for its time. I still don't think they could beat that original reveal trailer. The one that goes backwards, like in slow mo, yeah. Oh, well, um, actually, I'm thinking of the one with the guy just running, not noticing. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, stuff. from uh, the original Dead Island 2 trailer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Dead Island 2 coming yeah. next February. Definitely and joining me now muted. to tell us <laughs> mm -hmm. this long awaited game is Con. Con, great to, uh, to have you with us. Uh, first of all, Let's explain a little context to that trailer. I'll, I'll say this. Um, that we meet? He had That's enough good stuff here. throughout this uh, entire so show that the, mic, that the mic drop six. having Playable leaked is not as destructive as the mic drop leaking with Summer Game Fest. When it was just Last of Us Remake, that, that made that whole show um, feel way too muted. So... Uh, I see Definitely. the tagline there. Yeah. Uh, it's um, still unfortunate for us. That, uh, like she said to, uh, that there's going to be six different game? main characters. Well, uh, Pulpy yeah. Tone is kind of a love letter to classic cult Hollywood horror B movies. So where better I like to B movies set it than in Los Angeles, uh, sort of a modern paradise gone to hell. Oh yeah, it looks uh, looks cool. <laughs> it's obviously over the top. Uh, I know you're working on the narrative for it. Uh, this game has been, you know, long awaited for many, many years. You guys have been working on it for a few? Yeah, I'm sure I'm some fans would agree with, with you. It has been have, long awaited, way. but uh, Deep Silver Dam Buster Studios started work on it about four years ago. We were really lucky. We got to build it from the ground up. We got to focus on what we love about the franchise, the over-the-topness, and um, we think we've got a really great action RPG out of that. Uh, so let's talk about the gameplay. We saw the CG piece, obviously, but what can we expect from the gameplay when you show it? So Dead Island 2's gameplay is all about experimenting with your preferred zombie slaying methods, just kind of going nuts. It's a combat toy box of close quarters melee brutality with a few guns for fun. There you go. Like, okay, what well, you uh, want it from Dead I from Dying Light 2? To see more, uh, see some gameplay of it. You want to see some gameplay? I think well, we want to see some gameplay. You guys want to see the gameplay? I was still interested in... How about uh, now? Okay, let's do it. Here's your games. first look that at the gameplay of Dead Island 2. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Con. Now let's see how it looks. Doesn't look bad. Yeah. Especially if the map is more intricate, because mm -hmm. uh, Dead Island One had like a decent amount of exploration and size building and stuff. Stand the fuck back! It's hammer time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this way for the happy ending. Jimmy. Humanity's survival depends on the yeah, red gold pumping through my veins. Well, mm -hmm. Sounds like you're the star of the show now. This motherfucker! Okay. Maybe we can rope in Sax to play with us. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Looks good. Yeah.
It's and coming out for the stadium. There's an uncut version yeah. <laughs> of that trailer you can watch online if you want to see even more. All right, well, that's Dead Island 2 coming in February, and that is going to like they didn't even wrap really up all the reveals for that. Gamescom mm -hmm. Opening Night Live 2022. Uh, it's been a fun show, but before we go, I just want to say I hope everyone has a great Gamescom. Uh, there's lots of live streams for the next couple of days, lots of things for you guys to go and play and check out here on the show floor. And as for me and the team, well, we're going to go back to Los Angeles and get ready for the Game Awards 2022 which I'm excited to announce will be live on Thursday, December the 8th. There you go. From the we are not live streaming that because there's, it's too long, but for that. we'll definitely try to then, recap it. You guys have a great game they already come. cut a lot Thanks out so much for what being they a live part of opening night mm -hmm. live. We'll see you soon. Yeah. All right. You want to do any closing thoughts? Yeah. What do you th so what do you think overall? Well, shoot, there was so much that was there that I've already forgotten most yeah, of the Yeah, we'll have to, happen. like, uh, we're, we're, tomorrow, we're reconvening, yeah, for tomorrow. But overall, like you said, it's been so much stronger, so much more variety, um, a pretty good flow, except the awards the parts. Yeah, and the awards portions. But overall, I'm pleased and excited for a lot of stuff that's going to be coming out this year. I mean, shoot, just the fact that Gotham Knights is going to look way better than yeah. anything that I've seen up until now uh, makes me way more comfortable with that purchase alone. Yeah. I'm glad that he took uh, he took to heart the criticism of Summer Game Fest, like I've mentioned many times. It's just I feel like I got a, more out of this show, like more than just two games, to be like, okay, that actually looks cool. That's interesting. Okay, those those were meteor looks than I was expecting, or at least enough of a good of, of a look to give me an to give me an idea. And uh, again, real unfortunate that his final game, of course, had to be spoiled. But at the very least, it wasn't hinging on this. the The entire show didn't hinge definitely on it this. Wasn't like, so. all right, whatever. Let's see what he's got next. It was mm -hmm. oh shoot, that's cool. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, even stuff that we'd already seen before was like had more to it yeah more both sonic and uh, yeah both gameplay. both sonic and gotham nice at two games shown at, at, at ign first that looked rough had much better show like had much better polished showings and uh we got a release date for sonic we got a release date for gotham knights we got plenty of release dates right now so it's like it makes the the, the end of this year doesn't feel as barren as we feared it was going to be going into it it's obviously a choice about us trying to get out of um out of our comfort zone if we want to play a bunch of these games. So, unless they reviewed really badly, like what happened to us with Saints Row, that we were ready. And then the reviews hit, so. Yep. Uh, so, I'm I'm hoping that a lot of these are going to be a little more polished than any of that was. But, I uh, yeah, overall, I'm just, I'm happy about it. Ready yeah. to go back to doing some other things and exploring that new season for Destiny and yeah. everything else. And then we'll reconvene whenever the next showcase is, which everyone that is there's that rumors of sony opening their mouths on on september 8th then there's potentially that marvel one the day after so yeah so i who knows what that's gonna be but uh i'm curious yeah and so it's not like we're gonna be expecting anything from anybody else exactly so perhaps nintendo decides to drop uh what you might call it a surprise direct because they have a game coming out soon also usually when all their games are out is uh, what can I say? They tend to be when like, they okay, start yeah, when they the talk. Next. Exactly. So, all right, Paul. So, that was our reaction to Opening Night Live Gamescom for 2022. Solid show again. Two, two Opening Night Lives in a row that are pretty solid. One day, Keely will have a bomb at the end, like he did Elden Ring. So. Yeah. Gosh, that, that Elden Ring one was freaking nuts, too. Yeah. And in that show, he also hinged his entire show on Elden Ring, but it made that show worth it. He didn't have much before that, so I feel he's just more at home in Gamescom. I feel like yeah. he puts more in the Gamescom show than he does at the Summer Game Fest, so maybe we should recalibrate our expect expectations towards that. So, so. All right, people, we want to thank you if you looked at our reaction in the VOD, so, and to any and everyone that finishes and made it all the way here, stay active, stay safe, and remember... Press X. To play. Not everybody. Hasta luego.